There's the top. Everything's fine. Wouldn't expect any more from this. The situation's in line. So we made it to Zion National Park. Earlier this morning, we did a, the wire pass trail um, outside of Kanab. And so be sure you check that video out. That was a, a fantastic slot canyon trail. It was called Wire Pass. So here we are at Zion. Can't wait. We've got our campsite. Should be ready for us. Um, it's 1215 and check-in time was 12 o'clock. And we're about to go through the ranger station. The line's really not too bad. Everything's fine Wouldn't expect any more from this The situation's in line With every story that I heard Of the burning bliss And I wait Trying to appreciate And I wait Trying to evaluate What a view. We have a great view from our campsite. We're in site B61. Here's our campsite. It's a little bit messy right now. Okay, so this is the start of Angel's Landing. I just got off of the shuttle. I gave the guides, uh, the rangers, my uh, permit. And here we go. Fred is not with me, unfortunately. I'm a little bit apprehensive doing this by myself, but we couldn't leave the dogs that long. This river that I'm walking along is the Virgin River. You can see the shuttle. Check this out. So you can see the river down below and that's how far I've climbed so far. It's a pretty consistent grade. Some of it's dirt, some of it's paved. Okay, so you can see that little gully there. I think that is the first stop where a lot of people turn around and then to go up to the top of Angel's Landing is right up there. It looks like that one piece there is almost a vertical ascent. I don't know if I'll be able to make it up to the top or not. So in that darker area there, you can see a series of switchbacks and you can see people climbing up. I don't know if you can get a feeling of the incline here. You can see people going up the next switch back. It's steep. He's a cutie. Good view of the switchbacks here. I was just talking to these people. I said she twisted her ankle up here. I told her I didn't know if I was going to make it to the top. She said I was one of the lucky ones that got the permit. That it's once in a lifetime to make it to the top. She said, do it. So, we'll see. I'll give it my best shot. So this is a quiet zone. There's Mexican spotted owls that live in this canyon. And the birds are protected. And loud noises disturb them. Can you see that bird flying up there? How beautiful. Several of them. Beautiful. It says Angel's Landing this way, 0.5. And the West Rim Spring is three miles that way. So I'm going to Angel's Landing. Oh yeah, see the chains, oh my gosh. That's so exciting. Oh, I'm definitely gonna do this. Uh, 
So those birds we were seeing a few minutes ago are endangered California condors. Pretty cool. And then this is Angel's Landing. When I'm getting ready to go up, it says since 2004. I gotta keep going. I've got the permit, I'm gonna do it. There's the rangers up there that are getting the permits from people. Okay, so I just made it through that section right there. There are no chains. It was a little scary, but those people cheered me on. <laughs> and then we're going up here, holding onto these chains. Being very careful. Yes, you see this. Oh, look at this. I think I'm liking the lottery system. It's not that crowded up here. There's all the people down there at Scouts Landing. So oh, I gotta tell you. Huh. I've been doing the chains for a little while now and I'm seriously considering turning around at this point. This is where it goes on up to the top. I don't know. I feel kind of crazy doing this, tell you the truth. There's the river. There's some great views right here. Do I really need the view from up there? I don't know. the river down there and the shuttle bus look at this welcome to Zion so this is where I'm going right now and there are no chains Let's check this out how am I supposed to get up here? Yeah, I'm not going to be that graceful. Jesus. All right, so I might be breathing kind of hard. Look at this. I'm almost to the top. I'm almost there. Oh, I can't even look down. I can't bear to look down. There's the top. Look. Wow, look at that. So there's this little area right here where I am taking a break, having a little sit before I ascend just a little while more to the top. I made it to the top of Angel's Landing. I'm pretty proud of myself but I don't know if I'd do it again right now so I need to get down relax and give another opinion about this because it's very hard. Very hard. Uh, I'm definitely sure this is the hardest hike I've ever done. And now I just need to make it back down to the shuttle before the last shuttle goes and I have to walk eight miles back to my campsite. Look at this coming down. Well, I gotta step aside, let these people up. <laughs> okay, so here's the top. I'm sitting here taking a break with this very nice lady. And I'm looking at that. And oh my God, I can't believe I was at the top of that. I still have quite a ways to go to get down. That's incredible. I am pretty worn out. Very hot, flushed, tired. I can't wait to get back to camp and relax. After my angel's landing hike today, I was so tired. Fred made us dinner. He made us these 
right hamburgers. Well, it looks like we got some deer not too far from the camp. Nice big deer. There's one right there. I think that's a mule deer. You look at the ears. I think I saw three. There he goes. I have seen a lot of people riding their bikes here in Zion. So far, Fred and I, we've been riding it around the campsite and we've ridden it up to the visitor center and the um, outfitter. But a lot of people are riding it down the main road where the shuttles run. Um, and it looks like there's some bike trails besides that, beside that main road. So there's a big deer out in the... Step, in. The Step over here. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six deer in our campsite. Look at this. So this morning for breakfast, I have some nice crispy bacon and for me, a couple of eggs over hard and a wonderful cup of coffee. Hey babies. Hi. There are strict rules here not to feed the wildlife. <laughs> you can see people probably do anyway and that's probably why they come in here. They're such sweet little animals. So it's Sunday morning and I'm back on the shuttle. I am going to stop number nine which is the beginning of the Narrows, the river walk. remember someone saying that the best part of their trip to Zion was the bike ride they took from the visitor center to the Narrows. So that's the length of this road. The views here are amazing, aren't they? It's everywhere you look. This place is pretty incredible. I can see definitely why it's a national park. It's, it's something that's just beautiful to lay your eyes on. And I have no doubt that this camera is not in any way doing this justice. It's pretty impressive here. I don't think that we'll see anything else this impressive on this trip to Utah. Could be wrong, but I don't see how you could top this. Maybe we should have done Zion last. Now we might be comparing everything to Zion. Stay tuned to future videos to find out. You know a little bit about this new shuttle system. It doesn't require any kind of ticket, any kind of pass. All you have to do is find one and jump on. And at any stop, when you walk up to any stop, there's usually one there waiting and one right behind it. So the shuttle system here is really working well and it's very convenient. Trail right on the edge there, it's about 900 feet above the road. This is Angel's Landing, you can see it. So this is where I was. Very good. You can see the hikers. Oh wow, that's Angel's Landing. Hey, that's where we're going. Now we're going straight up the face. I'm walking the Riverside Trail. There was a sign back there that said what flash floods are possible. I think that's why the narrows are closed right now. You meet some of the most fascinating people. This guy down here, I just spoke to him for several minutes. He's a professional photographer. He's retired and he is filming uh, water, basically. Um, and you know, the 
the value of water with the glaciers and the melting and the shortage of water and all that so he's I guess he's making some kind of a documentary but a very interesting fellow and I told him that I had the YouTube channel he asked me if I had a little business card and um, I don't so I think that might be something I need to look into because the people that I meet along the way uh, you know it usually comes up that I have a YouTube channel and I should be able to give them my card with the information on it so I think I'm gonna have some printed look up here along the river walk today is April 10th very cold in the mornings and it gets very warm in the afternoons So it's tough traveling with dogs to these national parks. Most of them don't allow dogs on any of their trails. I know Zion has one little trail uh, that will allow dogs, but that's it. But the really nice major trails, you know, no dogs allowed. So Fred and I have to do them separately because we really don't want to leave them alone. You never know what could happen. Look at the colors in this rock. I don't know if you can see the some of the white spots up here on this cliff but I heard um, the shuttle bus driver say that those are actually birds nests you know where the bird deposits its waste you can definitely see where the birds nests are because of that look at how much the river slowed down right here I think we're getting to the start of the Narrows about 9 30 in the morning and my hands are numb it is so cold if I had to get in this water and hike the narrows right now I would be so apprehensive okay so this is the end of the river walk this is as far as you can go before you begin to hike the narrows had I really anticipated hiking that this trip and it be closed, I would have been a little disappointed. So I'm glad I didn't plan on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna head back to the shuttle just as quickly as I can. And I think I'm gonna go to the lodge and check out the gift store that they have there. Fred went yesterday, bought me a beautiful Angel's Landing Christmas ornament. He also bought me a book about women uh, who traveled west in the early 19th century. And he also bought me a new pair of North Face gloves. He's so sweet. So I'm almost back to the shuttle and Fred is gonna be doing the Angel's Landing hike in two hours. So I have to be back to the campsite in an hour and a half. Okay, so I've made it back to the shuttle and you can see that getting here early is beneficial. Okay, so I got off at the lodge. I think this is some kind of a little juice bar here. And here is the lodge. Okay, and then right here is the gift store. A 
Well, this is the cafe. The gift store is here. I got some prickly pear honey, a bookmark, and an I, ha I Hiked Angels Landing t-shirt. Okay, so now the shuttles are so crowded, they're both opened up. It's Sunday afternoon, coming up on three o'clock. I am waiting on Fred to get back from his angel landing hike. And I'm noticing around the campground, it is about as empty as I have seen it. This is 60. So this is site 59. It says it's reserved for the 12th. Today's the 10th, so that's probably going to sit empty. The deer that are behind us is just amazing. I think they live up there in this in that little area. I really tried to get a site on the river. Um, I think those are the best spots in this whole campground, but I tried pretty hard. I couldn't get one of those. And then here's ours again, 61. This is the group campground right over here. Here's 21. I mean, they back up to other campers. Here's 20. It's a nice spot, but it does have some shade. If you're here in the summer, it might be a little better. So the restrooms are really close to our site and they're, they're very clean. There's no showers here, but there's a water station where you can get your water for your dishwashing and you know, whatever else you need it for. And then the restrooms are, I know this sounds kind of crazy to a lot of people, but they're flush toilets. It's not the composting kind. Again, another beautiful view. But you can see around this campground, it's just enveloped by these huge cliffs. So every site really has these beautiful views. This is a beautiful campground. If you can get in, it's a great place to stay while your tour is eye on. These are my hiking shoes. They look a little bit used. So look who just made it back. I think I'm gonna need knee surgery. <laughs> so, Let's go get our t-shirts. So what happened? I earned that t-shirt. You did. So what? So where do you want to go get a t-shirt? We go through the parking lot by the shuttle, departure point, park, walk across the bridge to that uh, outfitters right there by the market. Let's go. So you made it to the top of Angel's Landing and now we're going back to the outfitter to get a t-shirt. Damn right. That says, I hiked Angel's Landing. Damn right. Now, you know, I've heard that that hike is the most popular hike in Utah and could be the most popular hike in the national park system. I could, I could not believe that you did it. It was hard, wasn't it? Yep. Like I said, I'm going to need knee surgery. So when you start, when you got off the shuttle, you turned to the left yep. instead of turning to the right, and you went to Upper Emerald Pool Trail. I was looking at the yep, map. I did. did you go all the way to the end of Upper Emerald Pool Trail? To the pool of water there. Yes. Well, how how what was that trail like? It wasn't too bad. You know, I thought it that was, was two right. miles to that trail, so that I was thought that was the right way because everyone was going that way. Because a couple of people says this the way to the uh, the top. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta go this way. And then, <laughs> okay, so so then you got on Angel uh, Angel Trail. What did you think about all those switchbacks? Yes. I mean, you're lucky that it was cool for you today. It never warmed up today. It was exhausting. I took frequent breaks and I ran out of water. You did? I when thought you told me there was water at the top up there where the rangers are. I thought there was. There's, There's no water. There's no water. Really? So I beg 
The guy, the young fellow, took my picture at the top of the place. Yeah. Huh? He had a little water to spare and gave me a, gave me a little bit. It's my fault that I did not do better intel work to see which way you go, exactly where is it, and do you have water at the top? <laughs> well, are you glad that you did it? I don't know yet because I don't know if Medicare is going to cover all my knee surgery. <laughs> well, I mean, it's dangerous. That's, I mean, that's a risk we took. I wasn't scared. I was just tired. I am very much impressed that you did that. That you hiked all the way up to the top of that damn mountain. <laughs> I've noticed that Fred is walking incredibly fast right now. I am walking very slow because the soreness has had time to set into my legs. <laughs> His legs are still rubbery. He's moving faster. Wait till tomorrow and the next day. He might be slowing down a little bit. So were there a lot of people on the trail? The other trail had the most people. The one that led to Emerald Pools? Yes. I think because of that lottery or the permit that they just started, uh, the first of April for Angel's Landing, I think that really cut back on some of the people that was on that, that's, that's on that trail. So we're walking across the bridge to the Zion Outfitter. This is where you get your equipment to rent uh, your boots and waders and hiking stick to hike the narrows. You all can also take a shower back here. Cold Coors beer to celebrate our great achievement. We're making a little Chinese stir fry here on the black side. So as you can see, we are almost packed up, ready to go onto our next site, which is Kodachrome State Park. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for our next adventure. You ready to go, Lily? And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. So as we're leaving Zion, one last look. We have to uh, go back down Mount Caramel Highway, which is a beautiful scenic highway. And then as we go into Kodachrome, I'm pretty sure we might stay on scenic highways the entire way. Isn't that spectacular? Zion is truly a beautiful national park. Beautiful. And Fred and I, we, we are still talking about the Angel's Landing hike. Everything's fine. Wouldn't expect any more from this. The situation's in line. With every story that I